What's up, guys? It is, of course, Sugi Khan here, returning after a half a decade or something like that. But now I'm back again and I actually have a few League videos lined up. Who knows? I might even do a couple of reviews on some new MOBAs as well. And eventually I will start covering the Riot MMO, which will come in five years if you're lucky. But today we are going to be talking about how to install custom skins in League of Legends. And previously I had a guide on this, but that is very, very outdated. There were a lot of tools from like five years ago which do not work anymore. So the thing that everybody is using on the block right now is called CS LOL Manager. And I'm going to be adding all the links down below in the description where to download everything. And there will be a companion article where there's going to be the full guide on text version, basically. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be opening up this file. It basically will ask you to extracting, extract this thing and just put it on desktop or somewhere. You can basically interact with easy. And basically, you will be needing a WinRAR or a 7-zip, which is a free uh, tool to basically extract the thing. And then a folder will emerge, which will be called CS LOL Manager. And there's going to be a couple of files over here. What we're going to be doing is running the CS LOL Manager X. I recommend doing this on administrator as there might be some issues uh, that might emerge. And this is actually now the actual tool. And this is where we're going to be doing all the magic. So the first thing is going to be going in the conflict. Usually when the leak client is running on the background, it's going to be able to detect it. And if it's not detecting it, you can use the change uh, the game folder and use the browse feature over here. And then you just like pick out, it should be in C drive, depending on what you have basically named these things, whatever. It's going to be the League of Legends.x and you just choose that and open and voila, it's basically chosen. Leave everything else as default unless you have some vision problems. I guess you can go w without the dark mode, but I just kind of like the default stuff over here. And then I'm just going to be closing in. Uh, when you first time actually open this thing, it will also create a config file. Now, next up, we obviously want to install the skins. And when it comes to skins, as I used to run a skin website, MobaSkins.com, uh, which was the second largest at that time after Leecraft, which is now defunct. There's now there's new websites and new tools and new skins. So there's a lot of skins which are outdated and may not work. There's an actual Discord where they kind of give out uh, support and maybe uh, help out in case there's certain problems with the skin. But if the skin is giving you error when you're installing it or it's not showing up in the game, either the skin is A, broken, or B, there might be some issue with the actual installer, like maybe there's not enough hard, uh, hard space, hard drive space uh, on your computer. There can be many reasons. And these uh, files are usually going to be on .phantom file. That's going to be the, the generic uh, file format. And what you can basically do is you can just usually, okay, now it's just giving, being retarded. You have the import new mod, and then we're just going to be going into desktop over here, and I'm going to be adding these files. Usually I can drag it for some reason right now that I'm doing this video. It's not allowing me to do that. And now they are imported in here. And what you can basically do is... Um, click out these things, click out the ones that you want to enable, and then you're going to be hitting the patcher on this corner. And then it will start patching it and it will start uh, installing those, you know, skins. Uh, sometimes, um, you know, it will probably take around 20 seconds to basically do that. And there might be problems that might merge when you have, like, let's say you're going to be putting five Ash skins inside the game and they have some, you know, certain files that overlap with each other or something like that, and that will cause issues. Sometimes restarting computer, restarting the leak client might be also uh, doing the fixes on these skins. And obviously, uh, nowadays, they tend to show also the patch versions for these skins, like this skin is made for this and this patch, but Le Le uh, sorry, Riot is obviously changing a lot of things inside the game in terms of like updating the models, updating the visuals or something like that. And even the slightest change that Riot might be updating on their latest patch is going to be breaking up these skins. So that's something that just happens. But when it comes to these skin websites, which are currently up, which I have listed on my article, 
they tend to usually update these skins and actually update them to the standards. So uh, there is some active community going on in terms of like making these things going. And now it says Ted is waiting for the league match to start. So these are now um, installed. There's also a troubleshoot tool that you can basically run uh, if you want to. And now we're going to be going into practice tool. Now I have two skins and I'm re-recording this one because guess what? The Akali skin was actually bugging out and I don't know what exactly is the reason. So I'm going to be running out the Ash skin that I was basically uh, picking out earlier. I'm going to be locking it in and always use the default skin. 99% of the time these models are basically overriding the default skin of that champion. And now we actually made it to the game and we have the skin working here. And this is like some anime skin. I'm, I haven't played Holo Live. I don't know much about it, but there are a multitude of different skins out there and multitude of different websites, hundreds. Some champions are obviously going to be more popular than the other ones. Some will also come out with actual um, voice lines. So they will override certain things. There doesn't seem to be any like form of technology to basically make it so that you can choose to just use the skin without the plus this one basically came with the splash art which was on the loading screen but the loading screen was so fast i wasn't able to record it but what i'm trying to say here is that there is you know certain things that are bundled within um these skins usually voice lines and things like that which create more immersion for the character especially when they're gender bender characters but as you can see like the animations work out pretty fine the rigging is pretty good and there doesn't seem to be any forms of issues and as it goes without saying these skins do not show on the other people's screens so this is exclusively only to the people who are basically uh, running the device so um, that's exclusive to you and also regarding the security stuff currently riot games has no nothing in their terms of service that would prevent you from using custom skins but they obviously have the every right to change that ruling at any point they have done that in the past there used to be um these mods which we which we did cover on the channel which would unlock you all the base skins inside the game and riot didn't like that and basically they uh, made those banned people who were using those programs but obviously in case you are very wary about using software like this you can always um, get like a smurf account very very cheap from like one versus nine dot gg use my code sujo to basically get a discount on that service you, anybody can buy these accounts very very cheap so um in case you're looking for you know risk-free assessment or trying out these skins that's a one way to do it now there has been also some rumors about it's not working on asian servers like korea particularly has been a claim that you are not allowed to use uh, custom skins on that server and obviously the way that the clients are working on different regions are vastly different so that means that they are not the the these clients are kind of made for the traditional clients that obviously means the non-asian servers because the every every other servers outside from asia basically are using the same client framework but that basically wraps up my video. Um, stay tuned for more content on the channel. Make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions about the custom skins and the legalities and uh, uh, problems and fixes, either go into the official Discord to basically ask questions or leave a comment down below. And I will try to help you the best way to my ability. But thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys in the next video when that will be dropping out. Cheers.